Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am re-reviewing the Clovers by Lucky Bags. And the reason I'm doing that is Lucky actually made a change to the bag. They changed the slow side material. They changed the material. They flipped it over and used the back side of that material. And it changed the way the bag played. It's a big enough change that I felt it warranted a second review. And, and on that note, I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a, a recommendation, a word of caution. When you watch my reviews, Make sure you look at at the date that review is released, how old that review is. You know, sometimes the stamp on the bags, well, I guess the, the stamps don't matter because both of these are 2024 stamped bags. So stamp really doesn't matter like it used to. But look at how old that review is and just be aware that, that sometimes bags change. And I, it, I, and I say that because I got an email this week. And it was actually perfect timing. I was, I was working on this review and I got the email and the email was um, one of you. And, and the email was warned. I'm not calling the, the person out at all. They, they, they had a legit concern, a legit question. And I felt like it was a perfect timing and I thought I'd bring it up here. They bought us in a follow X is based on my review. Well, my review was the 2122 followed X version. And 23 Buffalo made a template change, went more to a medium template. The bags I reviewed a little larger, a little floppier bag. The bags that that person got were not the same bags I reviewed. And I said to say, just be aware that when you watch my reviews, look at the dates, look how old they, how old they are. And if, if it's an older review, you might want to go check with the bag makers or reach out with these Facebook groups and just see if the bags have changed, if they've changed, what has changed. This is something that I've been torn on is how to handle when bags change. I would love to be able to go back and re-review the bags that changed. The problem is if I did that, I would constantly be reviewing the same bags over and over again. I would never get to new bags because bags are constantly changing from year to year, sometimes even within the same year, sometimes just a few months apart, they're making changes. And so it's impossible to do that. And I don't want to take down the bags that I review because Sometimes the bags, the changes aren't significant enough to make a big change in playability. And I've only done a few re -re revisits on bags. I did the, I know I did the Reynolds Fracture recently because I, 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 I wanted to like the bag. I didn't like the original bag. They made a, a fill change and I loved it. And I wanted to make sure you guys are aware of it. This one is a big enough change. I felt it warranted it. So I'm just torn on how to handle those. So just be aware if you're watching my review and you go buy a set of bags, just be sure the set you're buying is the same set I reviewed. If it's not, make sure that the changes are something that you're okay with, okay? So I hope that, I hope that clear. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into these Lucky Black Clovers, and let's talk about these. Uh, the big change they made, as I mentioned, is they changed the slow side. So the slow side of this bag is reversed. It's the same material. They just flipped the material over. This side is a little slower than this, and I think that maybe this was the side they originally attended. When Lucky released this bag, they put it on there. It was a speed of a 5.9 five, bag on the slow side. These were not five nines. I think I called these a six or seven on the slow side and, and nine on the fast. And, and th these are definitely a faster version of the bag. This is not a control bag. This is a bag you're running the hole in. I, I, I think I, if I remember, I made a recognition that if you throw the Pro Sniper and you're looking for a bag that can handle the humidity and when boards get sticky, this is a great complement to that bag. And and that's because that's how it played. It's more of a hole for hole style bag. This bag is probably more comparable to maybe the Surefire, although I think the Trinity is more of a Surefire comparison for for when boards get sticky. I, I don't know. This bag, to me, by by changing this bag, so what they did is the bag is now more controllable. You can throw blocks. You play a little dirty style game. You can shape shots more. You can throw cuts. You can roll. You can flop. It's more of a, a more of a control style bag, more of a defensive bag, more of a DPR bag. It's not really a hole for hole bag, and. and I, I like the way this bag plays. I really do. My 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 biggest issue is one, the texture of this material. It's a scratchier material. I don't like the feel of it. I just there's something about it just doesn't feel right. This bag, this material, this side feels much softer. I like the way the material feels. It does play faster. And typically, I am more of a slower bag player. Uh, but in this case, I actually think I like the original version better. And, and the reason is because this newer version with this slower material, it plays like a four or five speed. So it's like a four to five on the slow not in the fast. It really falls in and it's right in the middle of like the Luciano and the Trinity. You know, two of the backs I reviewed. I wasn't a big fan of Luciano. I like the Trinity. And honestly, I don't know when I would ever play this bag over the Trinity. If I was a lucky bags player and I just was loyal to them, the only one to throw their bags, I don't know if I'd ever pull this bag out over the Trinity. I think I always want to play the Trinity. Now this bag is a little fuller. It, you can play more of a shot shaping game with the Trinity, but I just like the way the Trinity plays better. I like the whole friendliness of it. You know, this material on this bag, very hole friendly, both sides, the bag would drip in the hole. This material is hole friendly, but it does hang up more. I had more cases where that bag hung up. Now it's a full enough bag. It wasn't that hard to collect, but it does hang up. This material has a lot more kick to it than this does. So if you don't have a flat bag, it's going to punish you a little more. This is definitely more like a traditional 
carpet bag style play than what you got out of this bag. This is more of a faster bag play. This was the hole for hole bag. This is the dirty style bag. So that being said, like I, said I, I think I, I like the clover. I have no problem with the clover. I have, if I went to a blind draw and you pulled this bag out, I have no problem playing it. Once I realized which version it was, and, and that's probably my, my other gripe is it, there's no way to identify. I, 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 I wish Lucky would have put some kind of identifier on this new bag to let you know that it's different than this bag. Now, if you go buy a, a, a set of clovers on the website, I think you're only going to get the new version. I don't think you can get the old version. But if you're buying a used set online, Facebook, somewhere from somebody, from Buddy, you got to be careful which one you're getting to be aware of that. Uh, which leads me to the other thing, and and, and this is kind of a, I don't know if this is a hack for it, but they still sell this design on the website. And I was tempted to buy the new version with this design. And the reason is, it's, it gives me a way to play. And I don't, this may be cheating the rules. I don't know. You know, ACL made a rule change about you can use different friction patterns and you can play with different speed bags. And I don't know. I, I went to the rules and I read and I didn't never saw where the rule said you couldn't play. These two bags have the exact same materials on it, right? They have the exact same materials. It's just flipped. I never saw where the rule said it had to be the same side of the materials. You know, maybe the bag makers get a more extensive set of rules than what I could find online. But nothing said to me that it was illegal to have the same bag with different sides of the slow side material on there. Because in other words, I can go buy, again, I can buy this exact same design, exact same bag with this side of the slow side. Nothing's different. It looks identical. And I could play mix and match. And I would have a bag that, and there's a big enough change. I don't have a bag that has a four or five speed slow side. I can have a bag that has a six to seven speed slow side. And then they all have a nine speed in the fast. So I can have three different speeds in the same set and mix and match and go, you know, two slow, two of the fast, or one slow, three fast, three slow, one fast. However, I can mix and match. And, and I, I don't know if that's against the rule or not. And I almost wonder if it's not, there's a way, you know, because honestly, it's the same material, but it is a different friction pattern because it's the other side of the material. So again, it's a loophole. I don't know. Maybe there's more, maybe there's more rules the bag makers get that I am not aware of, but it kind of crossed my mind that, that, that if you can't do that, then why was Lucky allowed to make the exact same bag with a different, like, wouldn't the ACL force them to put some kind of identifier on this bag right here to, to distinguish it from this bag, especially when, or change the colorway so you can no longer, so anytime you buy this colorway or any of the previous release colorways, it's the old style, and then have all new colorways for the new distinction that way. I just think this bag should have had a Clovers 2, a X, a R, a V, a, 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 a something on here, an S for slow, a C for control, something on this bag, distinguish this one from this one. But I do like the idea of having, being able to mix and match bags, you know, thinking that may be a way around the pattern with the all cornhole in the patch or the dots that Ultra uses. I don't know. I, I'm curious I, I, if, if, if any of you bag makers are watch this and you know maybe there's more to the rules that I'm not aware of, I'd be curious to, to, to have that information. If not, I, what your thoughts on whether or not this would be allowed? Because, you know, how would my opponent know if all four bags look the same? They're not going to know because you really can't tell. And looking at these two materials, you you can see slight differences. But when this bag is beat up and we're down, you're not going to be able to tell for sure. Feel, maybe. My opponent's not really feeling my bags. They're not going to know. So that's kind of a loophole way around to say, I can play with different speed bags and my opponent's not going to know. So I don't know. If you do that, be careful. I don't know if it's illegal or not, but it doesn't, from what I can tell, the rules don't say you can't do it. They just don't say you can do it. In my opinion, I pref actually prefer this older style Lucky Clovers. I like the faster version because that's a bag that Lucky doesn't have. It's a fast carpet bag to play when sticky conditions. They have a lot of these slower control bags and this bag will still play in humidity, but you know, you've got the, you've got the Luciano, you've got the Trinity, you've, you've even got the Shamrock, you've got control bags, slower control bags. You need a faster carpet bag. And I think that's what the Clovers were. I actually like the original design better than the older one. And if you want to factor in and go outside of Lucky, I would much rather play with the, with the herringbone carpet or the, the R carpet or any of those, the clone carpet, the variants, any of those hybrid carpets over this bag. So if I'm looking for a bag to play this four to five slow, slow speed range with a nine fast, this is not the bag I'm pulling. Like I, I never, I can never think of a situation where I would pull this bag out. I can think of situations where I might want this bag. It might be the best option. And that's why I think I like this version better than this one. If you throw both, both versions of these bags, I'd love to hear your feedback of which ones you prefer and why. If you've thrown the newer version, let me know what you like about it, what you don't like. Always love to hear your guys' feedback. I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.